Good morning, dear students. Uh, today we are going to perform an experiment in which we will trace the path of the light through a glass slab. So for this purpose, we have taken our drawing board and on that drawing board, we have fixed a white paper and then we will place a glass slab on the paper and we will mark its boundary. So place the glass slab on the white paper and mark its boundary then remove the glass block, uh, block remove it and approximately at the midpoint of one of the long faces mark the midpoint of the long face yeah so here draw the normal First of all, draw normal, which makes 90 degree angle with this face. Make it dotted line. Okay. Then we will draw a line which makes an acute angle with this normal. Yeah. So on this line, I will place uh, two pins. I will call them pin 1 and pin 2. One pin is near the boundary of the glass slab. Okay. So we will name them. This is pin 1 and this is pin 2. Mark them. Pin 1. Pin 2. Put the glass block back. Okay. So uh, you can see that... Uh, the pin 1 and the pin 2, they are on this side of the prism, uh, sorry, glass block, glass slab. So I will look through the opposite face. I will look uh, through the opposite face of the glass block and I will look for the image of these two. So let us rotate it. The rotating is not uh, necessary. We are rotating for us to look through this side is easy. Okay, so now we are looking uh, through the glass slab from the opposite side of the pin uh, 1 and pin 2 and we have placed the pin 3 in such a way. Now you see, you can see the image of the pin and we have placed the pin number 3 in such a way. Let me show you. So slowly, 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 okay. So I hope you can see, maybe in the camera this is not that much clear, but I can, I can tell you, you see this, go. Okay. So move, 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 move. You can see the image of those two pins. So the image of the those two pins and this third pin their bottoms are aligned from here i hope you can see that their bottoms are aligned okay pin three and the image of the pin number two and the pin number one they are aligned with each with each other now we will place the pin number four the pin number four is placed in such a way that the pin the bottom of the pin number three and the bottom of the pin number four and the image they all are aligned okay so i am trying to find that magic okay so here the bottom is aligned actually okay through the camera that does not look that good but they have tried to align them the bottoms they have aligned the bottoms so so my dear students uh, now we have realigned them and look carefully, 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 carefully. Okay. 
now it's, it's now it is good you see let me hold the camera now you see the pin number four the pin number three the image of the pin number two and the image of the pin number one they all seem to be aligned and we align them from their bottom not from their top okay so this is the position let me when i look at from the top so mark this pin 3 and pin 4 okay remove them Join with a straight line pin P3, P4 and P3. Okay. So the point at which it has touched the uh, glass slab at this point, join them with each other. And this is the path of the light inside the glass lamp. This is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection, uh, refraction sorry. If you draw normal here, this will be the angle of incidence and this will be the angle of refraction. Angle of incidence, angle of refraction. And this is how you trace the path of the light inside the glass slab. I hope you will be able to write this experiment in your ATP exams or paper. Thank you very much. Have a good day. God bless you.